Hello from TingyetDragon.com. This is Ji Sifu, and of course uh, Ji Si Gong for my disciples. So um, this video is going to get you guys started on the stuff that you have to get in order to start learning um, how to use your s small mobile altar to do um, Fu magic. The talisman, okay? So fu like like these. Okay? And the first fu we'll be doing is of course as requested by everyone is a protection fu. But that will need a lot of gears uh to get started. We don't just take paper, uh a pen and start scribbling and call that a fu. That is not a fu, okay? Um you need a lot of gears. Now let me introduce your first package uh, of stuff that you'll be needing. Let's take a look. Now you can see I'm dressed up here. If I step back a little bit, you can see that I have one piece of white clothing on top and there's also a pant underneath. Okay. <clears throat> and then we have a pair of very unique socks. These are the socks. This one is kind of wrinkly, but yeah, they come pretty wrinkly, so you need to kind of iron them out. So this is how it looks. It basically tubes over the whole uh, foot like a boot, and you have to fasten up with the string, okay, and fasten up on your leg. So these, this one, the pants and the uh, socks is not required for the newbies, okay? You can buy them if you like but you don't have to have them. Now, this is what you have to have. You must have, okay, as a newbie. This robe, this is the, uh, okay, let me take away my table so you can see it. This is the first robe that you'll be getting and it's a red bagua robe, okay? So I'll put this on in front of you. Let you see it. <clears throat> you have three buttons and mm. Usually just go like that. There you go. Okay. Now, for newbies, you don't have the white clothing underneath, so it will be a t shirt or whatever. But I I really do not encourage people using shirt with, you know, like weird symbols and stuff underneath. It's best to stay clean. Okay. So get something plain color, white color, something like that. Okay. Plain color shirt is good. Very easily put it on. And then beside that you have hat and a pair of shoes. This one, this robe is one of the uh, most basic robe you'll be using. We call this the robe for the mo style. Mo is to do work with external stuff. Okay. Now this is the shoes, safong hai. Okay, this is called safong hai. Pair of shoes like that. The shoes, yes, you'll be wearing them indoor even though you're not like going out and stuff. So you can keep them clean by staying indoor. Don't go outside of them. And hat. Now yours, these stripes should be black and uh, basically they look pretty much alike. The fabric here is quite nice. It's, um, it's a mesh kind of fabric, uh, kind of little bit of not really soft a little bit a little bit of hardness to it like a mesh and uh, basically it's very breathable so yeah make sure that you give your measurement to your dai sifu in the lineage uh, correctly so that she won't get the wrong size for you okay so usually when we wear this uh, hat we go like that okay just to measure the center and this jade here will really give you the center line Okay, and basically, just like me now, I'm going to try to get your mirror and stuff. There you go. So, that's your basic outfit. Okay? Now, this this robe will, um, will, will change if you actually go to stage uh, 3 in the lineage to uh, yellow. And then, later on, it will be black. Okay? So, that's your uniform or whatever you call that. Okay? Your robe. Okay, now we'll be doing stuff like this, okay? There will be other robes that, are option, that is optional for you. This one is, whoa, 
as you can see, it's big and long. Now, this one is heavy compared to this one. Okay, this one is very lightweight. This one is heavy. This is called the Topo, Talus Road. And it, yes, as you see on the camera, it's very navy blue, very nice, beautiful blue. It's made of very nice fabric, very heavy and breathable fabric. Now, if you have that robe, it's even better. Okay, so you can you can buy that robe first if you like, actually, uh, and then add this one on top as well. So double it up. Okay, that would be a great idea, but it's not required. Okay, the red one is required for sure. Now this one I will show you right here just to take, uh, go through it quickly. You need to wear this like so. Okay. Easily, and then just like that. Okay? And then inside here you see there's a string. And then right here go under your armpit and find the other string. And choose hidden right here. You see? Okay. So you put the string and tie a knot right here under your nipple spot like so okay and then grab this there's a button thingy here that, uh, that goes through a loop you go to your right side under the armpit find that loop and loop over it okay so that's a uh, one um, button style and then underneath here there are two more buttons so you fasten those up as well I'm just going to save time and cut that off. Okay, so basically tidy up your shirt inside. There you go. Now, as I said before, this robe is actually very important because it's your, you can say it's your power bank, okay? When you cultivate, um, your power, your energy gets stored up here as, uh, as your power bar. So as you do stuff, you get a lot of support from your regular cultivated power that you stored up and soaked up inside this robe. Now this robe, the red one on top, it's going to be your working robe. So it's basically the robe that um, outputs the power to do work. Now this one stores up your power. So like this is, this is like the battery and this is the program or whatever you call that, okay? The machine that actually outputs the power. Okay, as you can see, my blue robe actually goes out like that, okay? Now the cool thing about this thing I show you guys already um, a few times before, but I'm gonna show you again. The cool thing about having this robe is the sleeves can be reversed and actually give you a lot of um, advantage over just having the long big sleeve robes. Now, the big sleeve, when I, when I do stuff, you see, it clings on and stuff. So sometimes if you really have to you know, go around, you can put your sleeve like that and then reverse your sleeve like so. You see? And now you basically hide that long sleeve inside like so. And you can easily do that in seconds, you see? Wow. Tactical, <laughs> tactical wizard outfit. Really cool, eh? Now, this is how we do it in our lineage. Uh, other lineage or sect may not do it this way, but we like, the, we like it this way, okay? When we have to do a lot of stuff on the altar and stuff, you need to pack up the sleeve, fine. Now, after you're done, you want to go back and do your other stuff outside the table. Wow! in seconds really cool right okay so beside that one um you saw my black robe so i'm not going to put on my black robe uh, all the time so I'm just going to stay like that today now let's go for the other stuff on the list okay i got my table today I'm trying to go faster uh so let's hope we can go through everything first thing is three stamps wooden stamps okay as you can see the wooden stamp they are like this, and basically these are the three uh, main stamps that you will be getting. And I strongly suggest you use a Sharpie to write the stamp name over the top. Okay? Make sure that is the right face, and then write the stamp name here. Now, for the stamp, they're made of wood. 
So you need to oil them. You can use linseed oil, uh, mineral oil, that kind of stuff, vegetable oil. Just to oil them nicely first, let it dry up, and then write the names. Okay, so just take care of them. Three stamps. The first one, Tin Yat Stamp. Second one is Ling Sum. Third one is Sam Lo Sun. Yan. Okay, three stamps. A wooden sword. Yours is not like that, of course. Mine is tailor made. Um, yours will be about the same length but lighter color and sort of like this, okay? Wooden sword. Yours will not have any words on it, okay? You see mine, I have my inscription on it. Okay? These things will be drawn when you learn more and more and get advanced later on. You will have those with the drawings. Uh, like you would do it yourself. But right now, yours is plain and you will learn more and add more stuff to it as you go along. This fork bell is called the Sam Chingling. Okay? Sound like this. Very nice sound. Okay, Sam Chingling. Uh, beside that, you will need candle holders. I don't know how yours is going to be like, but I have mine like this. Okay? It's for the tapered candles. So you'll be having a pair of those, okay? a pair of candle holders. Now beside that, I'm going to show you more stuff here. You have a pack of, you'll be needing, not a have, you need, okay, a pack of those full writing paper. Now these paper are very thin and best way is cut some cardboard on both sides and then rubber band it so that you can protect your pack of full paper when you're not using them, okay? Always protect them nicely. Okay, I'm still here. <laughs> now you have incense, long type incense, okay? These stuff from your Dai Sifu, she picked them and it's really good. Okay. You have a brown uh, container with this cone type incense okay cone type incense this is very very important we'll start with two types okay and then you have a super tiny pot okay i showed you this before in the previous episode so we know about that already now beside that let's get into the food writing gears you should have two brush why two well, one brush is for uh, red ink, one brush is for black ink, so just keep them separate, okay? Remember, when you get the brush, first thing you do, take a cup of lukewarm water, and then put the brush like that inside and soak it for about 10 minutes or so until these hair are all uh, softened up. Flick around, rinse with lukewarm water, and then try to like, flex it, and you see it's still bouncy, but it's not like uh, hard anymore, it's bouncy, okay? You can feel it's alive. And now this is good to use. Just put them, put this on table and let it air dry and it will be fine. Whenever you want to use them, make sure you wet it with a little bit of warm water first or like normal temperature water and then start doing your food, okay? Never just take a brush and dip directly onto the bottle of juice or whatever you, you're gonna use. Um, okay, beside that we have ink stick, okay, ink stick. Now we have a black ink stick which everyone knows already, should know, okay, looks like that. Basically it's a block of uh, hard charcoal ink and you grind on the stone. Now this one is a red ink stick made of cinnabar, juusa in Chinese and you use that to grind your red ink, okay? Now beside that, there's also a bottle of the these uh, red ink that you can buy from your Dai Food too. Now, for beginning, when you first learn to draw food, never just use these, okay? We'll be grinding ink because you need to draw food and also cultivate the power as well, not just to draw food. Now the bottle ink will come handy later on when you get better at stuff and doing a lot of food. Okay. Now this is my crazy uh, stone grinding or ink grinding stone pad. This is huge. Uh, yours will be, 
Yours will be a little bit like, maybe like that, okay? Smaller. Now, this stone pad, take care of it nicely. Um, don't let it shine under direct sunlight. And uh, when you're not using it, put it away safely and also always clean it after each use, okay? Rinse with water, good enough. Now for stamp pad, your Thai seafood should have some choices for you. But in case um, there's no choice, I have this here made. Uh, it's a sponge with food coloring, red food coloring mixed with water, and you can have this too, okay? Or you can use the normal kind of stamp pad for your stamp. Okay, I hope. Okay, as you can see, my timing issue is very bad. Anyway, so basically, and also of course the table. And you also need a frame, 11 by 8.5 frame. Now that frame is going to be having the Sun Pie print out. And after you print that out, you take your stamp, okay? Now, what you want to do is take your Sam Lo San Yan, the Sam Lo stamp, okay? Stamp in the center of that Sun Pie. And then, okay, let's pretend we have a Sun Pie here, okay? We stamp in the middle, put it down, okay? What you want to do is draw a Sam Lo Fu Tao. Now, you should learn, uh, you should already know your heart spells, right? So use the second heart spells. Now, what you want to do is um, like this on the hip, right hand, short finger. Touching the chest, stomp your second heart spell. So inside the mind, say the heart spell once, stomp the left foot. Pull out, poke, blow. Now flip your finger like this and draw the Sam Lo Fu Tao over it, okay? After, okay? after you're done, everything is done, go like that and flick your wrist onto here, flick, and then stomp the left foot at the same time. After that is done, frame it up and you'll be using this framed piece of mobile Sun Pai for your mobile altar later on, okay? So today we went through a lot of tools and basically time is already up. So, you know, we're getting very rushy, but next lesson we'll talk about what to do, um, how to like activate your stuff and do the first very, very easy, um, most basic must do check for the items. Now what is check? Check is to Spawn in your power and make it yours. Now your tools, all of these tools, including incense, okay, everything is charged up with the first um, first infusing of energy from your Dai Sifu. When she buy the stuff, she put it at her altar and do her part to charge up everything, okay? So everything has some of her power and it's linked to the lineage network everything is linked up so because you buy from her everything is pretty much ensured to have stuff in there already okay it's like you buy a computer it's loaded up with windows and some other softwares but when you get it you cannot just put your computer on the on the table and then expect the computer to turn on right the first thing you need to do is learn how to plug things in and then type in your username and maybe set up your password, uh, your Wi-Fi and all that stuff, you know, and then you can start enjoying your stuff, right? So the first thing I'm going to teach you is when you get your tools, how to do a very small check to bond in your power to activate the stuff to be yours and so that you can start unleashing the power from the stuff that you get, right? So um, that's why you also have to get the stuff from your Dai Sifu because when she gets the stuff, she empowers it. If you buy other stuff outside, they're not in the lineage. They're not linked to the lineage, so you don't get anything from it. And because this is like a pretty much like a shortcut um, to get you started on these things instead of starting from very scratch. So basically, if you don't have the help from your Thai Sifu in the lineage, uh, using items that is not charged up will get you no effect. So you really have to 
um, have that backup from your Dai Sifu, and that's why that's why you're in the lineage, right? You get help from your your masters in the lineage, and uh, we bring you to develop your power and your skills, right? So that's why you're here. So basically, um, when you get the package, first first thing first is open up everything, lay it out, take pictures, and then send them uh, like to our line or to your Dai Sifu or other Sifu who is talking to you. Tell them what you got. After you tell them what you got, okay, ask them questions. Maybe you are curious about stuff. So ask them stuff. Um, anything you want to ask, you know, how to put the ropes on, uh, how to do this, how to do that, what to do, where do I put these, you know, things like that. Ask question is the key point to learn this magic stuff. You need to ask question. The, the last thing you want to do is really just sit back and wait for stuff to be spoon fed to you. It is not going to happen, guys, okay? If you learn in my lineage, you need to ask questions. You need to start being proactive if you're learning. Okay, just watching the videos, it's not going to bring you anywhere. All the stuff I'm going to teach you is going to need you to ask your Dai Sifu for stuff. I'm encouraging you guys to communicate because if you don't communicate, how can you learn the more advanced stuff, right? We need to communicate in order to teach. And that's how real magic is inherited by talking, 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 communicating, demonstrate, I demonstrate, you show me, I show you, stuff like that, okay? Okay, good. So next lesson, we'll be doing our first um, empowering and first mini tech with all the items, okay? We'll see you next class, uh, next lesson. So remember to subscribe and like, and don't forget to share with your friend. If you're not ordained yet, you can always feel free to just email us to request to ordain if you like. So um, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.